What is up YouTube fam? Today I am going to be showing you guys, like the title of the video already says, what I eat in a day, alright? I feel like you guys have been asking me this for a while already. You guys liked the last one I did, which was like a while back. So I'm going to be doing another one. However though, I will say this video is sponsored with Real Goods Food. I'm going to show you guys how to incorporate these delicious meals into your daily like eating routine they're honestly so good and like how good in like their macros like they're so freaking good but anyways so right now I normally like starting my day off with obviously like breakfast but it's funny cuz like I know I'm not ready right now but I like I have this thing I have this thing where like I like to eat before I get ready and do my makeup because I feel like it gives me time to let like the food go down when I'm getting ready I don't know if that makes sense if that's just a weird habit I have but I just like that um, anyways we're gonna go ahead and get started with some breakfast 7 a.m. right now and I'm just getting ready ready for my day ready to to conquer the day ready to conquer this day okay so I am going to start off with a whole egg and about four ounces of egg whites I love this one because I literally get like a whole pack at Costco so these are just like very convenient for me and yeah obviously just I'll just use my measuring cup here Alright you guys, if you guys are not seasoning your eggs, what is you doing? Alright, and I'm going to grab some pepper. I'm going to put some pepper on my eggs. You know what I also like putting? These are honestly so freaking good. The crushed red peppers. I just like them a little spicy. Guys, I season the crap out of my eggs all the time. Um, and I've learned that the best way to make them is literally like at low heat. So I am going to mix it. I feel like they cook more fluffy when I make them at low heat. So I didn't know that before, but someone taught me that and it was a game changer all right next guys I put half a cup of oatmeal into my bowl and I honestly guys I just use water I don't really use anything too complicated so I said anything too complicated like it's just milk or water <laughs> so I, I just put like this much okay so the reason why I'm telling you guys how much water I put I don't know if this is weird but I don't really measure how much water I put I just kind of just like eyeball it but I had a girl one time ask me like how do I get like the thick consistency of oatmeal and I told her first of all like I don't put too too much water like it's barely like you know like above the oatmeal and then another thing is I put it at like pretty high heat so it can obviously thicken a lot faster I'll put it at a high heat probably like a minute and 30 about to show you the game changer for your oatmeal keki butter all right cool once that's in I'll go ahead and mix all of this with it and it just will melt into your oatmeal it's like the bombest thing ever you see how this consistency of my oatmeal is thick Ooh, I feel like you guys can taste it little baby who just woke up Go, go, go. All right, and for my eggs, I've shown you guys this before multiple times. I like putting ketchup with tapatillos. So I don't know if it's like the Hispanic in me. I love spicy in my food, like anything spicy. So I definitely mix these two together, and you guys, it's the bombest thing ever. Spicy ketchup. You guys need to get on this if you guys don't know about this. Mm -hmm. 
Okay guys, I just arrived to Cal State with Miska. Hi. We are going to work on a few things, but um, the next thing I normally like eating is like in like the mid of my day after I eat like a good breakfast. It's like a protein shake. So I didn't bring anything with me. I'll probably stop by the store later to like go pick something up. But in the meantime, we're gonna get some work done. And I'll show you guys later what I eat. You guys, I'm literally sitting here extremely depressed because my laptop got <laughs> wet in my bag and I didn't notice like my water had flipped over. It was like wetting my bag and my laptop was in my bag and all my stuff got wet, including my laptop. And now, my laptop is not turning on. It was turning on, but then it turns back off. It turns on, it turns off. And I'm trying not to have like a panic attack. Look at all my things. I like literally took them out like with my bag. I'm like drying my bag here. Cause everything got wet. I literally just made an appointment right now to like the Apple store. I'm so scared. Okay, this is so still gonna keep going. I'm gonna keep a positive attitude about this. In the meantime, I wanted to show you guys <laughs> my water jug. The stupid water went my mouth. <laughs> <laughs> the enemy. <laughs> That's the enemy right there. <laughs> Anyways, but I do like drinking water throughout my day. Um, here's another good tip. I do like drinking water throughout my day I try to drink a gallon a day because um, it also kind of helps me from like feeling hungry because you know how like sometimes when you're like sitting down or working on things or just like I don't know there's times where you just feel like snacking right and you're not really hungry because like especially obviously if you eat already like a good meal like me but sometimes you just want to snack I don't know maybe it's just because you're bored or you feel like you need to be eating something so what I tend to do is like I just drink water and that helps for me to like wait up until when I have to like, you know, take my next meal or eat my next meal. Um, but yeah, so get yourself a gallon of water. It's, it's very helpful too. So I made a quick stop you guys to my house. I ended up having some time and I am going to take a scoop of protein. And this is actually just going to come with me to go and I'm gonna drink it on the way. This is about, I believe, 20 grams, 25 grams of protein. Oh my goodness, you guys. Okay, so I am first going to try the Real Goods Jalapeno White Cheddar. You guys, this is, the macros on this is insane. Insane. 22 grams of protein and 2 grams of carbs. Okay, so I'm going to have right here three nuggets. It'll literally tell you, like, on here, like, three nuggets in the background. It's 85 grams. Oh my gosh. I literally I feel like I can't even believe this. So I'm going just to heat some up real quick because I am heading out right now. I was able to make a quick stop here at my house to grab something to eat before I go to my appointment. Um, all right, these are gonna go in the microwave. Oh my god, you guys. This literally looks so freaking good. All right, I'm literally going to grab them right now and just take them in a little baggie to go. Because I got to head out. These are like little nuggets and they're so good. Oh my goodness, I'm so excited right now. All right, so if you guys are ever wondering, like how do you get all your meals in like on such a busy day, this is literally like it. Like I'm literally drinking like my protein shake like on the go right now because of course like I'm always busy right now and then right now as soon as like my nuggets are like done like being all hot I'll eat those and yeah guys like literally like that's just how I get like my protein oh my god it's literally how I get like my protein in right like I just I gotta do it you gotta get that protein in girl like we gonna make these gains and then as soon as these nuggets are done cooling down I'm about to show you guys how delicious are about to be I'm so excited okay guys so this is perfect timing I'm at a stop mmm this is so good I literally like 
I can tell why it's like only two grams of carbs because it's like it just tastes more like cheesy I don't know about you guys but like I love cheese so <laughs> so this tastes really good and the fact that this is like 22 grams of protein well with the three nuggets like I, I feel like I can't even believe it I can't even believe it but it's really good I'm gonna take this on the go all right you guys so I am about to eat my next meal sadly 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 the whole situation with my laptop <sighs> it's bad it's bad it's bad but I'm just gonna move on lesson learned and it is what it is so I'm gonna show you guys though the good ass meal I'm about to eat oh my god my girl look at her <laughs> Uh, I'm about to show you this good meal I'm about to eat. Let me show you guys what I'm about to heat up. So good. The good thing also about these is that like these cook like really quick too. Realistically here, if you put it in the microwave, it says up to three minutes and then one minute to cool. Or you can even put it in the oven and bake for 20 minutes. I think that's what I'm going to do because... All right, and let me give you guys like the nutrition facts. It's nine grams of fats, four grams of carbs, if you guys can't see it, and 20 grams of protein. That's insane. Right there obviously says two grams per serving, so per enchilada. So I'm gonna eat both. So I'm gonna have four grams of carbs and 20 grams of protein per serving. Oh my goodness, I seriously can't wait to eat this. All right guys, so real quick as I'm heating up my food, I am tracking all my macros for you guys. Um, I will go ahead and put it on here so you guys can see exactly how I'm tracking it on the app that I use called Macros. So it's really simple and it's really easy, but this is just kind of how I keep track that I'm consuming like the right amount of protein, carbs, and fats. It's like what mainly I focus on. All right, you guys, this is the results right now. I'm about to eat it. It looks so good, sassy. We gonna grab right now. All right, you guys, this is literally so good. I was already eating it. I just wanted to show you guys me eating it. <laughs> it's honestly really, really good. Bomb. This is about to be a good ass workout. I'm excited. And the fact that this cooks so fast is like way better. This is great. This is great. My dad fixed my laptop. He is literally the best, the best. He like saved me so much stress and money. They were about to charge me 1,500 to fix it. They had told me like everything had to get replaced, all this stuff and my dad fixed it. He's so amazing, I'm so happy. Anyways, I am picking up my best friend right now, Mystica. We are about to head to the gym. This is the gym fit here and Eating. This is my little treat for the day, my pre-workout. <laughs> I'm not even gonna tell you the nutrition facts on this. This, um, I won't throw this in the in the macros. <laughs> Just kidding, but I don't know. This is your treat for the day, a little cheat meal, you know, for the day. Um. Anyways, I'm just happy. I'm just so happy right now. While I'm like waiting for my friend, I'm like here talking to you guys. I'm like trying to think if I want to like get some pre-workout, buy some at the GNC, or if I should just like take some pre-workout drink at the gym. I'm trying to keep it high right now. Cause I already know my friends are not gonna have pre-workout. You don't have pre-workout, huh? No. <laughs> Why? Because I already knew you weren't going to. I'm yeah. just asking. What is that? Here, you can have some. <laughs> what is this? <laughs> the one Sour treat. Strips. The one treat we get for today. Is that um, candy? So, anyways, yeah, it's candy. Um, anyway, so we're gonna head out right now to the gym, get this workout Ooh. in, and then I'll probably have um, 
I'm still trying to decide if I want to have a pre-workout drink. I said pre-workout drink, an energy drink. <laughs> an energy drink or some pre-workout. I'll buy some. All right, you guys. So I am about to finish my two last meals. Well, not really a meal. This is a protein shake. I'm gonna drink this while my my other meal from Real Good heats up. I don't know if I want to put it in the microwave or in the oven, but this as well is like really, really good in carbs and protein. Has 17 grams of protein per serving and then nine grams of carbs. And this is a spinach ricotta cheese with marinara sauce, <laughs> cannoli. I don't know, this thing looks bomb. For real, for real, this looks bomb. With only eight grams of fat. All right, not bad. This is, I'm excited, I'm excited. All right, I'm gonna drink this. You guys, I am excited. This looks really good. I'm really excited to eat this. You guys, this looks absolutely delicious. I don't want to burn my mouth on camera. It's like actually pretty hot. Mm. It's so good. Like legit, this is so good. Remember you guys, I love cheese too. I love ricotta cheese. It's funny because like when I get pizza, like at like, you know, the make your own pizza, it's like my number one thing I put of a lot is like ricotta cheese. It's so bomb. Mm -hmm. All right. I'm not gonna have you guys watch me eat this entire video, so. Look at buddy. Buddy even wants some. <laughs> Bud, you want some? Oh, you want some? No. No. Okay, you guys, so I'm going to be showing you how I track my macros on this app. It's actually pretty easy. Um, on the top, it's going to tell you how many carbs I had for the day, protein, and fats. As for my breakfast, like how I showed you guys earlier in the day, I ate my egg whites my egg, my oatmeal, and I also calculated the cookie butter I had with my oatmeal. And then later for lunch, you guys saw that I had my whey protein, and then as well, the real good foods, jalapeno and white cheddar poppers. So this was honestly really easy to calculate, and if you, know, you have the box, like in this case for the cheddar peppers, like you literally just scan the barcode and it'll input everything for you. Okay, so moving on to my dinner, you guys saw I had the chicken enchilada. Well, actually that wasn't for dinner, that was more for like lunch. But you guys saw I had the chicken enchilada from The Real Good. And then at dinner, dinner time, I had the spinach and ricotta cheese cannoli. So that one was so good. But again, everything just input it right there on its own. So that was perfect. And then as well, I had a another whey protein when I got back from the gym. So I calculated that and then I didn't show you guys, but I did have two rice cakes as my snack throughout the day. Okay, so I took you guys back to the top of the screen where you can see my full macros throughout the day. So in total, I had 89 grams of carbs normally right now i'm keeping it at 90 just for like two to three days and then 132 grams of protein which is pretty good that's what i somewhat like staying at 130 to 140 and then um 40 grams of fat so i normally like staying between 30 to 35 so i was a little bit over but that's okay because i was literally just tracking it like with the flow like throughout the day and again like how i told you guys before normally if i do track like i like just tracking it for the full day just so that i already know in advance like how much i have to eat but yeah guys it's honestly super super simple like how you track it at first like it was kind of like hard for me to understand it or even get in the habit of it but once you do it like it's really not that bad and it's easier when you just track it all like for the day and then you kind of already know what to eat all right you guys so i showed you everything of what i eat for a day 
normally um what i like doing sometimes is like i'll like already track everything that i'm going to eat throughout the day to kind of like all right like know in advance like if i'm going to be missing like maybe any protein if i need to like maybe include more carbs or whatever but in this case, I just kind of just went with the flow today. So, yeah, guys, I know, like, it can be hard at first to kind of, like, you know, try to eat this many meals or try to, like, consume, like, this much protein. But, like, I promise you, like, once you get in the routine of it, like, it's just so much easier. And what I do like, like, honestly, honestly, what I do like about The Real Good is that, um, you know, the different things that they have, they're just so easy to make. Like, literally, like, you can just, like, take a pack, like, to work, school, like, wherever, like, you need to go, you know? So, I really like that, because obviously, if you don't have time to be cooking, then, boom, you grab it, you take it on the go, right? So, that is, like, very convenient, and I'm huge on, like, conveniency, because obviously, I have, like, a busy schedule all day, so, like, sometimes I can't always come home and, like, you know, cook food and stuff, because, like, I'm always on the go. Um, so it's just nice to be able to like heat some up heat something up quick like in the microwave or oven and then you know head out so, Thank you guys so much for watching my video Give me a thumbs up if you liked it and if you want to see more of these videos And I will see you guys on my next video. Bye